what is up everybody so welcome back we got another video here we got an exciting one we got a first look at the dragonflight resto druid or druid in general talent trees um so we're gonna take a look at these i have not yet taken a peek i've seen glances but i have not looked in depth yet so i'm super excited to share to do this with you guys give you my first impressions um and all that jazz so we going to go through everything we got and i'll give you guys my opinion on it uh, my first look, first impressions, um, I hit or miss. I like pros and cons. Um, I love the customization, but I think they pruned way too much. Um, I think the baseline abilities are too little, um, and I hope they're not spreading things too thin. Then again, we don't have talent calculators, so I'm not too sure just yet, but uh, we'll check it out. I'll give you guys my opinion on all these talents. Okay, so really quick, um, the baseline abilities, we have Wrath, Moonfire, Regrowth, Revive, Roots, Airform, Barkskin, Growl, Catform, Prowl, Dash, Bite, uh, tra uh, Travel Form, Aquatic Form, Flight Form, Teleport Moonglade, Mark of the Wild, this was actually a change, which is actually pretty sick. Um, so Mark of the Wild will now uh, increase your target's speed and crit by 3%, which is cool because that is perfectly in line to how I play. <laughs> um, cool. And Rudy's Magic taken as well. That's awesome. And then Rebirth. Okay, so um, first glance, like I said, I think it's going to be a little bit too pruned, but we'll see. We'll see. we got to see how many talents we can take and, you know, uh, how complete the class feels after that. And obviously this is early, so things will change. Okay, so let's go through the first row here. So to um, for this first row of talents, you are going to get whichever one you are specced with. Okay, so um, if you are a feral, you're going to start with this one already. If you're a, uh, you start with these two. If you are a guardian druid, you're going to start with these two, thrash and, uh, right, you both of those, yeah. And then if you are a uh, resto, you're going to start with these two. And then if you're boomy, you start with these two. All right, cool, cool, cool. So that kind of covers the, the, the first two rows. So basically it's what I said. Um, the abilities are exactly the same too. But one thing interesting that I will point out will be, you know, I'm obviously I love playing like Feral Affinity's playstyle. And if I start at Resto and kind of venture towards the Feral side, the interesting point is that you actually will be able to get both Frenzy, Regen, and Rake. So more survivability on top of being a Resto we'll see. Okay, um, going into row three here, we have Rip, which is just Rip. Uh, swipe, don't really like that Swipe's a talent, but I feel like that should be a baseline thing. It's just passive AoE. But, all right, improve Frenzy Regen. So Frenzy Regen and Barks can increase all healing received by 20%. That is incredibly strong. Um, that's probably gonna be a mandatory talent. Like if you like hot yourself up, go bear form and bark skin or you proc a well honed instincts because I, I saw that down here in the bottom well holding instinct they bring you back in the game which i don't agree with i really hate that thing uh but that's going to be really important i think you're going to that's going to be mandatory because that's going to make your it's going to virtually buff your friends your region by 20 percent on top of that that's a lot okay um next we got a remove corruption so the spell i hope that druids rest of druids oh rest of, this is the ruse all curse and poisons uh, <clears throat> I guess the, are they gonna have like the regular dispel on the on the other side? Sorry, I'm trying to pull it over here. Is it regular dispel over here? Uh, what does it even look like? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess we'll figure out and find out in a minute here. But I'm kind of scared. If wait, what happened to the regular dispel? <laughs> uh, but remove caution. I don't like that's a talent. That should be baseline personal opinion. Moonkin form, obviously for Moonkin. Okay, we'll see. Um, going down the next row, we have Maim. Awesome, so that's cool. Another have, have that stun. Um, increased armor and physical damage. Ooh, you know we taking that one. That's for sure. Increase our our, our uh, physical damage by 6%. Okay, Iron Fur, no one cares. <laughs> um, increased healing and magic damage, dude. We gotta be spreading a bolt of these, man. I feel like we're gonna, I'm gonna end up like, going over here to like get maybe Tyler's Pursuit and then uh, the kick and then... Going the other side over here, getting clone and oh, I'm getting excited. Okay, hold on, <laughs> take it back. So increased magic. So we, that's going to be a crucial one for me as well, dude. We want the big damn. Um, and then hibernate. Honestly, I feel like hibernate in this case with all these talents to choose, probably not going to be chosen in PvP. It's such a niche ability, like just for druids uh, and maybe like shamans or pets or something like that. But pretty niche in PvP, probably not going to be taken. Um, feline swiftness, that's what this one is, okay? Increased movement speed of up to 15%. That is a lot. That's kind of like the baseline, I guess, that you got from Feral Affinity. Um, Skull Bash, obviously the old school kick. Thick Hide reduces damage taken, okay? 
Um, you get your choice node here, wild charge or tiger's dash. Obvious choice, wild charge. You need that in PvP, man. It's like, the, especially how, the way I play, I need that, man. Tiger's dash is kind of dumb, honestly. It's like the scuff version of Displace Your Beast. Uh, I don't think anyone even plays it, maybe in PvE. Um, this one over here, we got, oh, this was the increased healing. I apologize. This is the increased healing and damage one. Wait, no, this is a different one. This is healing done and he healing taken. Okay, so this is your healing to yourself and whatnot. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, probably going to be skipping over that, I'm not going to lie. We'll see you though. Um, Cyclone, obviously any Cyclone, man. Over here we have Astral Influence, which is increasing your range of all your abilities. Pretty cool, okay. Maybe, I feel like I'm totally going to be like going half Feral side, half Boomy side, and like not even going to be able to hit the bottom. Ugh, we'll see. I think I'm, I think I'm going to definitely be struggling here. I might have to really, you might have to like really toss up on some of this stuff. Just like first glance, I'm like, probably I'll probably go like from here down to Cyclone. And then everything else is going to go this way. Then I'll probably lose out on like Stun. Maybe I wouldn't even bother with that. I don't know. Oh, so many questions. <laughs> okay, going to the next tree here, or next row. We got row six. So that is down here. We have Tyler's Pursuit, probably upgraded version. Oh, so this is Tyler's Pursuit. This one's Field Ends Witness. Tyler's Pursuit, I am so happy they brought that back. I freaking love that thing, man. Um, it's so hard to think going back to without that. Uh, the gameplay just feels so slow. So I'm really, really excited about that. We have uh, Soothe. Soothe, is that, yeah. Um, completely useless. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of concerned that that's there, to be honest. Because if I do eventually want Heart of the Wild, uh, I might not be able to take that. I really hope they change Heart of the Wild, just side note. I really hope they make it not a five minute cooldown. Maybe make it like three minutes and then reduce the duration or something. Because five minutes is kind of dumb. But we'll find out. Okay. So going over next, we have Sunfire. So Sunfire is just a damage talent there. Um, just a normal ability. Typhoon. Cool. So you can, tempt, you can technically probably get both Kick and Typhoon. That would be literally annoying as heck. Wait, is, is Skull Bash usable in bear form? It must be, right? You charge and bash your target. It doesn't say here. Because you might have to like bear form charge. Like kind of make a macro like you used to do in the day. <clears throat> okay. And then we have... Um, type in over that. So row 7. So now we're over here. We have Primal Fury. This was a classic talent. Just, you know, they brought that back. So when you crit, it gives you two combo points instead of one. And it doesn't count for dots. Okay. Not that probably not that useful. More and more useful for actual Feral. Uh, we have Imp Ursox Endurance. R when you use Bark Skin or Survival Densities, you absorb a small amount of damage. All right, we'll see how small that is. Stampeding Roar, great ability, but um, not my priority, honestly. I'm probably going to be debating on taking that or not. We have Wild Growth. Okay, probably not that important, unless this talent down here, this Rejuve, is really good. And then lastly, Improve Sunfire, which I don't like. I feel like Sunfire should just be like that. Like, why I do that? They just probably needed an extra talent. So they scuffed it. They cut it in half. I guess the little things I was saying, like, too much pruning. Like, Sunfire has always been an AoE ability. Why are you doing that? Okay, uh, row 8 here. We have a choice between Incap Roar or Bash. Okay, Bash, obviously. We need that stun for the damn. Uh, Ursine Vigor, so basically the Conduit. They're putting that as a talent. Cool. Um, Lycaria's like Teaching. This is interesting. You gain up to 3% of the stat based on your current form. So when you're not in form, you get haste. So 3% haste. Cat form, you get crit. Bear form, you get burst. Ruku form, you get mastery. Interesting. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I like that. I'd say that's an interesting one and something new. Um, we have improve rejuvenation. Increase the duration of rejuve. Probably not that necessary, to be honest. Choice between verse, Vortex and Entanglement. Uh, vortex is amazing, man. I'm definitely going to be wanting to try to keep that, but... Uh, it's gonna be tough, man. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to that. It's either gonna, if I go the feral route, which is probably more so what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna be able to take Vortex. Oh, that stinks. We'll see though. Okay, um, and then going down to row nine, we have er, Well Honed Instincts. Awesome, okay, awesome. And by awesome, I mean, I really don't like that. I really wish they would not bring that back in the game. When you fall below 40% health, you instantly cast Frenzy Regen, and now you're gonna have like improved Frenzy Regen on top of that too. Eesh. Too much healing, man. Too much passive healing, no bueno for the game. Yeah, improve stampeding roar, reduce the cooldown by 60 seconds. What is the cooldown? Does it say what the cooldown was? Did they like up the cooldown of it? Uh, it doesn't say what the cooldown is on here. Okay. Renewal, instantly heal yourself. So basically just same renewal here. And then innervate. Ooh, why did they make innervate a talent, man? Talent, innervate should be on the resto tree, dude. I don't like that. But maybe it's like you can make like some hybrid build for a feral or something. And like have mana. I don't know. 
Okay, and our last row here, we have Fuhrer, which when you shift into a form you haven't been in, abilities cost no rage, energy, astral power, or mana for four seconds. Whoa, interesting. That's cool talent. Okay, okay, because that's, that's another classic talent. So, like, for example, if you just, like... Oh, I haven't been in 20 seconds. Uh... I don't actually, I take that back. That's, crap. That's trash. That's trash. It's only good for Feral, I would say. Where, like, maybe you can be in cap form doing crap for 20 seconds. But if, you know, I'm never in one form for, I'm never not in a form for 20 seconds. Unless it's, like, bear form. Like, I'm always going cat, human, cat, human, travel, like, boom, 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 boom. So that's probably going to be completely useless. I'm not going to lie. Heart of the Wild abilities not associated with your chosen spec are substantially empowered by 45 seconds. Oh, yo, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So this is kind of the old school way of the mop one. So for me, for example, that means both boomy spells and feral spells would be buffed if you're resto. That's kind of sick. All right, all right, all right, all right. I see you, I see you. And then nature's vigil, that's so cool they brought that back. Especially for boomy, that's gonna be really awesome for boomy. Uh, for 20 seconds, all single target healing and damage spells also heal a target. Okay. Um, Awesome. Okay, that's cool. I'm really cool. And that's a short cooldown, honestly. Like, that could be a pretty, really... I feel like most Wrestle Druids are going to be getting that. Like, people who actually play Wrestle Druid to heal and not to do damage, they're going to be taking that for sure. All right, cool. So let's go to... Uh, I kind of like this, man. Um, I mean, we got to experiment how how much you can split this. Like, what I'd be really curious with is, can I go down to Tireless Pursuit here? And then also, like, kind of go this way, get this stuff over here then go the rest over here get cyclone probably run down this way Ugh, that's gonna be pushing it man because i think ideally what you'd want i mean you might have to sacrifice you probably i'm probably not gonna be able to get tireless pursuit i'll probably have to like go boom 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 and then hit all these here so get the get bash get maim and then kind of come down here get the increased damage oh this one's increased damage okay this one's increased damage get cyclone uh, go this one's increased healing and then probably ah oh, dang man Dude, if i want to go down here man oh probably go boom down straight down i don't like this which one was this one again what was uh next to ursan vigor that was lacaris teaching okay so that's actually not a bad one and then you get improved probably not going to take probably to like renewal or something Oof, I really hope they knock the cooldown though. I really, really hope, man. I really hope. I, really, I have a feeling I don't because it's still 45 seconds, but. All right, just so this video isn't too long, what are we at right now, actually? 12 minutes, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm not gonna go through all of the trees. We're just gonna go through Resta right now because it's just to save time on the video. Um, but if you want any of my um, comments on any of that stuff, let me know. Oh, dude, defocus. It's in the, was that in the feral tree? Damn, that's cool. All right, so let's venture into the Resta tree. So this one's probably not going to be super interesting for me um, because there's not going to be much damage talents, but maybe we would have to swarm convoke. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. All right, so um, uh, where are we? restoration tree. Okay, so first one. So baseline, everyone gets nature's cure. Okay, cool. So you get the spell, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, cures all harmful. Removing all magic combines with remove corruption if known. Okay. First row is. Oh, is that what? Is it like on the side or something? I don't know. Anyway, um, Life Loom, obviously, okay. Efflorescence, not very good. Um, NS, obviously, everyone has to take that. Omen of Clarity, ooh, they're bringing that back. So you're healing over time. No, that was always in the game. What am I saying? That's exactly the same. Okay. Go down to the next tree here. We have Improved Life Loom. So Life Loom is now treated as an additional restoration heal over time effect for mastery. Okay. Okay. Interesting. NS cooldown reduced gotta take that um and then we got iron bark no why not ah, like i feel like crap like this like iron bark should be baseline man why do i have to choose between some like iron bark and not like yeah i just right off the bat man you're not gonna be going left side like wild growth wild growth nourish probably um this is gonna be you know iron bark improve iron bark this is probably your saris gift uh, you're definitely gonna be going right side um but yeah let's go keep going keep going we have um, the next row here, Unstoppable Growth. Wild Growth fall healing falls off uh, less less over time. Okay, interesting. Um, we have Tranquility as a talent. Not a really big deal unless the Tranq talent is... The, if the Tranq PvP talent is still a thing, obviously we're going to have to take this. 
Ysera's Gift. Okay, up to 4% of your max health every 5 seconds. Okay, basically what it, what it is. Um, that's this one here. Okay, going down the next row. Nourish, okay. Nourish, that's pretty cool they added on here, but I, honestly, I don't think anyone's going to take that shit. Uh, soul of the Forest, man. You're going to need that. Ugh, I don't like that that's on the left side now. I really think this left side is going to be completely PvE-based. Everyone in PvP and their mom is going to be going right side. Um, Inner Peace, which is the Tranquility Talent. Okay. And the Mutant Nox. While channeling Trank, you reduce damage again. Okay. Um, a lot, dude. I could even see this right now. If they keep that Trank PvP talent, man, and then this is going to make it a two-minute cooldown, it's going to be annoying, man. Like... Like, I'm, I'm all for, like, Wrestle Druid buffs, man, but, like, the passive healing from Frenzy Regen, Improved Frenzy Regen, Well-Honed Instincts, Renewal, like, like, the, the Guardian Affinity, the, the, the Guardian Affinity Druids, man, they're literally gonna be so tanky, man, and I'm gonna, it's gonna be annoying, I can tell you right now, like, I mean, it's great if you guys do like playing like that, I feel like you're gonna do very well, but, god damn, they're, that's gonna be annoying to play against, not gonna lie. Okay, um, we got Cultivation here. Uh, when Rejuve heals a target below, so same as it is on retail. Cool. And yeah, this town up here, improved Trank. Increases healing done by Trank and Wild Growth based on the current health of the target. So basically, shot Rest of Shaman Mastery. Okay. Choice town here, Scenarian Ward or Abundance. Basically the same choices that you have now. Obviously, Scenarian Ward is going to be way better for PvP. Oh, did I read that improved Ironbark thing? Hold on, I apologize. Did I miss one? Improved Ironbark, reduce the cooldown. Okay. Yep. Row eight. Oh wait, and then stone bark increases the so, dude. That's so dumb. Sorry. Like, why are they pruning abilities? Like sunfire, they split the effect of sunfire into two talents. Iron bark, they're splitting iron bark here, and then also the the, the best part of iron bark, where you increase your healing done. Um, they split that up too. Really not a fan of that. Okay, we got uh, spring blossoms here, or overgrowth. Ooh. Ugh. Ugh. Tell you right now, dude. <laughs> I tell you right now, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going, whoosh, 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 and then I'm going to cut right across here. Shoop, 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 and then we're going to hit, uh, we're going to see, I don't know if we could be able to hit Convoke and Adaptive Swarm. That'd be fucking sick. If you can get a Convoke and Adaptive Swarm, holy hot tickety damn. Holy smokes, Batman. Um, okay, cool. Let's keep going here. We got some Spring Blossom Overgrowth, Rampant Growth here. Road Growth heals for more. Over its duration and healing at the time it also applies to your life bloom target. Okay. But I mean rampant growth is kind of garbage to my I'm I mean regrowth hot regrowth hot is pretty bad to my knowledge. Okay, we have autumn leaves, which is uh these are these aren't really these talents or these sound really familiar. Uh Reju's duration is increased by one second and it heals for an additional amount when it's your only heal over time. That sounds familiar. I don't know what that was from. Maybe like Legion Talent or something. Grove tending. That was a uh, oh, these were BFA things, man. These are BFA, uh, uh, no, no, Azurite talents, Azurite traits. That's cool. Not Azurite, Azurite traits. Yeah, Azurite traits. That's pretty cool. Grove tending. Swiftman heals a target. Okay. Wow, that's gonna be really strong. Okay. Because Grove tending was really good in, in BFA. You have your choice node invigorate. That's a different one. Your heal over times complete their healing a hundred percent faster. Okay. Interesting. So it's kind of like the the old school flourish or not flourish whatever that ability was called uh the ganar one essence of ganar or something like that it kind of like flourish though and then memory of the mother tree wild growth okay so that's like the the, the, the wild growth talent invigorate okay 45 second cooldown though wow that's interesting okay row nine we have germination same old same old you can choose between convoke and tree of life Okay, something I just noted here though is it's not the Nerf version. Okay, so you have 16 spells instead of 12. Instead of 12, but we got to see if it's a two-minute cooldown. Odds are it's going to be a two-minute cooldown. And also take into consideration you're not going to have the Convoke conduit, which is 30% more damage on the Convoke. So, um, wait. Oh no, it doesn't cast Bite or Star Surge anymore, dude. Yo, that's kind of mad. Fuck. Why would they do that? <laughs> if they're gonna put Convoke in the game, come on, man. Ugh. Based on, so, like, what about Convoke in the other ones? Isn't Convoke in the other ones as well? Hold on, really quick. I'm just gonna sc scoot back. What about Convoke for. So, look at this. Convoke. Oh, you cast Ferocious Bite. Ferocious Bite, Shred, Tiger's Fury. 
Oh no, did they just like, they, did they just like, like, all right, we're just gonna fuck markers over, dude. Real good, watch this shit. <laughs> like, ah, ah, that's no fun. Yeah, it doesn't cast, no! <laughs> if you're gonna put it in the game, do it right. Oh, that's not cool. All right, so that's gonna be garbage, completely garbage. That's not even worth taking anymore. So we're gonna literally probably skip this. Probably gonna be split now, so no more convoke. Which is okay, but it's not good. It's not okay because ferals are gonna still have it and boomers are gonna still have it. If you cast improve innervate, so let's go over here, innervate on somebody else, you gain the effect at 50% as well. Okay, and passive mana regen increases at 5%. Cool. Adaptive swarm. Okay, so a command, a swarm, a shadow damage, increase the effectiveness over 20%, so down from 33. Finds a new target preferring alternate. Okay, so basically the same, otherwise it is nerfed version though. Choice node over here, we have Photosynthesis and Dark Titan's Lesson. So Photosynthesis is his current talent, Dark Titan's Lesson is a legendary. They're gonna make sure you can split life wound into two targets at once. Circle of Life and Death, wow, okay, do damage. Okay, so that's cool, you can get that as a talent. That's pretty cool. Um, improved Incarnation and Convoke. Wait, Improved Incarnation and Convoke, hold up, hold up. Shifting out of Incarnation before it expires ends the effect and refunds portion of its cooldown. Invoke the Spirits has an increased chance to use an exceptional spell or ability. All right, we're going to have to do testing, but by the uh, verbiage of this, Convoke's going to be garbage for my current play style. It's not going to be the same. It's going to be only for your, your spec abilities, which I don't like that. Cool. It was cool to be like versatile with Convoke, right? So we'll test it, but uh, my knowledge, uh, can, it's probably going to be increased chance to get like Swift Mend versus like, uh, I don't know, like a Wrath or a Moonfire. Okay, and then this next one over here, this uh, gray circle thing. Every three casts of Swiftman increases, grants you uh, Incarn. So basically the tier set. Flourish or Verdant Infusion. Whoa, okay, hold up. Why would you ever take Flourish? Wait a second. Extends the duration of all your hot sun friendly targets. I guess it depends on the cooldown. They didn't show the cooldown on here. If the cooldown's the same, why the hell would you ever take Flourish? Just take Verdant. Um... I don't like that, man. I really don't like that they, they're keeping that. But we'll see. And then last but not least, Rejuve has a 2% chance to create a new Rejuve on target. That's the, the legendary. Ugh. I don't know, man. I don't know. To my, With my knowledge, what, if you guys want my first instinct, what I would probably be thinking to do is for this tree, I'm going to take as much minimal uh, talents for damage, probably. So probably going, you know, somewhat on the left side here, taking Rake, Rip. It's probably going to go towards a bleed spec. I'm not going to lie. Um, kind of like how the current Necro Ardruid playstyle is, like how I would play it. So kind of going this way, taking Rake, taking Maim and uh, this. Maybe pushing here if you have enough talents. Otherwise, going down here to Skull Bash. And then that's it on the left side. And then for the rest part, going boom here. Cyclone going here and then probably cut and go into the middle to the soothe take wild charge and then try to get down to uh this as well and be not gonna have this not gonna have well instincts either i have a feeling i have a feeling most like the, the the cookie that's gonna be in probably the markers build it's gonna be something like that where you're kind of going half there and then it kind of i don't know if you're gonna be able to even get that far down hmm We'll see, uh, but and, and you can maybe make a boomy spec where you're going over here. But I, I don't think the boomy spec is going to be good at all. I think I think the only way I'm going to be able to do damage right now with this is bleeds because if you can kind of combine this one, this increased damage talent, this increased damage talent, having rake rip, um, and then maybe sunfire if you can afford to go that way, and then maybe going down to heart of the wild that increases both moonfire damage and rake damage, and then on the when it comes to the this tree, kind of probably going. Getting the NS and stuff, pushing this way, going your Sarah's gift. Your Sarah's gift's awesome for me because I'm always playing offensive. Probably going to Snarin Ward, maybe tap uh, Soul of the Forest. We're gonna have to test if it's even worth our time going for Convoke. Might not be even worth time going for Convoke. If Convoke doesn't give you bites or star charges, I'm not bothering with that. Um, it, but otherwise, maybe going Snarin Ward, pushing down here, getting a Dap to Swarm, and then uh, Circle of Life and Death. Maybe poking for Iron Bark or Overgrowth if that's possible. Uh, when it comes to like a straight up healing spec, I could tell you right now it's going to be probably going here and then down to the Verdant Infusion, probably proccing this uh, the, the kind of the Tree of Life thing as well. Uh, but yeah, that's probably my first glance at that. Anything else we have here? Dragonflight contains major updates to the classes. Are you interested in talent trees? Okay. Is there any 
wide variety of t bonuses over the years. Let us back to talent trees. Another concept we'll play before miss. Okay. So these are some common questions here. Some abilities are critical to my rotation. Will that mean I will always have to build a certain way? No, most of the basic building blocks to your rotation will tend to be either learned from one to 10, awarded automatically in the cat class tree or placed at the top of the spec. Yeah, but they're kind of ruling the Druid, you know? Like Druid has all these abilities. Like it's like in the end, it's a, it's it's cool, like the choice, but in the end it's pruned. Like in the end, you're you're freaking pruned. That's about it. Especially when it comes to my personal play style, like having used to all of these abilities, like Moonfire, Sunfire, Rake, Rib, uh, Maim. Uh, pff, I mean, we have so many more abilities. In the end, I think it's going to be a prune. Uh, the certain place, certain piece of utility that uh, certain content, for example, interrupts in Mythic Plus. Does that limit our choice? Similarly, the most likely something is to be all but required for some classes. The more we must place it in the tree in the appropriate location. One still li uh, leaves is your, okay. Does this mean it's possible to make a very bad build? In short, yes. There are limits in guardrails, such as those abilities that are automatically given. But furthermore, our goal is to in designing the trees is not to trap players in complicated choices in order to make a functional build. In fact, that's the opposite. Um, it could definitely make a bad build. <laughs> yeah. Does this mean that some of my points are spent in obvious choices and, and aren't likely to move? Often, yes. Yep. So I don't like that. Just no no like cyclone baseline um uh, what do you call it? soothe baseline another thing hibernate baseline come on guys come on now i think they're like just you know trying to pull shit out of the just to make another talent choice <clears throat> if all 60 points 61 points were always have were always heavily in play the part would main balance of looted true so this mean that so, uh, i will use some of my points to rebuy some things that were baseline in shadowlands yes Okay, the main difference is you're getting to choose whether which button active buttons and passive bonuses make up that tool set one other set of questions is around the abilities that are still awarded automatically outside of the tree there are a few broad categories abilities that are learned before 10 so like moonfire death strike okay a few nuts and bolts um, there are a lot of cases case calls we made of this but by large we are pushing ourselves to leave it to the players to explore the trees how to build their build out their class from 1070. I mean, I like that. I like the basis of the idea. The experience of using a tree will be more intuitive when you play in the in system in game, but we want to provide some explanation here for, to analyze the current draft trees in the detail. Please bear in mind, <laughs> no pun intended, <laughs> druids. Um, these are all subject to change as we continue development. Your uh, first class tree will be at 10, so you're going to be alternating every level. You have 31 choices. 31 choices in your class, 30 in specialization tree. Just quickly glancing this, hold up. Let's let's just quickly take a shot at this. If we have 31 points, right? Okay, we're gonna start with these two, ready? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Okay, let's put, we'll, we'll go with the limit on that, that's 11 so far. Um, we're gonna need this one 12 uh 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 okay so that's doable so even with tw even even with going for maim and cyclone and heart of the wild i'm only at 27 probably from there i have what four more talents I could go I could take those three and go for the speed bonuses there. Dude. I could go down here and get bash. I could maybe get that and then go to bash. Or on this end, maybe we could go like down to Sunfire to add another dot to the dot playstyle. Okay. I'd probably maybe go for the mate. I probably wouldn't go for this Sunfire. I would actually probably tap that, especially if we're going with a, like a dot play style. Um, but okay, so 27 going straight down there. Maybe let's go 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay, so if we go to Tyler's Pursuit, we get Sunfire. Ooh, okay, I'm kind of a fan of that. We can go all the way to Heart of the Wild still. Um, or maybe we go to, okay, how about, mm, damn. The choices that we gotta make. Maybe we don't. Maybe we. Maybe we go with feline swiftness. We scrap tireless pursuit and we take vortex. That's probably going to be better. All right. So there we go. 
So recap that. We got one, all right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, let me go to the other side. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Boom, there's my build. You guys got it right there. Okay, and then we got 30 on this side, right? So we were gonna go with uh, wait, 30 on this side, right? Okay, cool. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, let's uh, hold on. Uh, let's scrap the trank right now. So we're at 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Wow, you have a lot of points. Okay, so, so I had all this already. 23, um, 24, 25, 26. You can get you can get Convoke and Adaptive Swarm and Circle of Life and Death. Whew, wow. And then maybe go, what's it, 26, 27? Damn, wow. Okay, so you, there's really not that much choice. Like you're gonna fill up most of this tray. I feel like the the, tr the traditional play style is going to be going here, take a death swarm, maybe not circle like in death, but death of swarm, get an overgrowth over here, and then you come down here, you pick up innervate, burden infusion, um, and then probably one of these, and then probably like the uh, whatever this one was called, uh, crap, invigorate. They're probably you're probably gonna take invigorate, and then probably improves iron bark. Okay. All right, well, there's basically my build. So let me recap, sorry, one more time. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Probably gonna go that invigorate, that's gonna be good. Actually, no, no, hold on. Um, let's go, for, we're, we're at uh, 14. I'm gonna scrap that, scrap that, scrap this one here. Growth tendency to be strong. Okay, um, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. And then going down here, 24, 25, 26. This, this depends if this is if it convokes good. If it convokes not good, fuck it. Um, and then we go 27, 28. You can fill this entire tree. Like the only thing you're not gonna have is like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess you can go to Trank at that point. But you're virtually gonna fill out the entire spec tree. All right, I don't want to keep this video too much longer, but uh, so there is my first impressions. I got some ideas for builds potentially in there as well. If you guys do have any interesting comments or anything that maybe I missed out on, please let me know in the comments below. And I really appreciate it if you did watch this entire video. I know I'm kind of just ranting at this point, but follow this channel, subscribe, follow the YouTube, follow the Twitch, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.